purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. It is Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for Joy Bombs in the Psalms on the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, and I am feeling so quiet and peaceful in my spirit right now. It's kind of unusual for me, but I've been sitting here thinking about what psalm you and I should read together. And I'm surprised by the one that I feel like we're supposed to read because it's probably one you've heard a million times. But I don't think that matters. I think you and I need to read this one today. It is right smack dab in the center of your Bible. And I hope that as you listen to these words, you're going to feel the same peaceful calm come over you. We have a God who wants us to know that we are enough in Him. I struggle constantly wondering if I'm doing enough, if I am enough, if I'm good enough. And I am resolving in this moment to stop that. I feel God putting His hand on my shoulder today from a spiritual standpoint and just saying, Erica, I love you. Let that be enough. And He is enough. So join me in Psalm 23. We're going to read two versions of this beloved psalm written by King David. Are you ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. So he leads us. He renews our strength. He guides us along right paths that bring honor to his name. And when we walk through dark times, we don't have to be afraid because he's beside us. He's protecting and comforting us. He's dealing with our enemies. He's going to take care of all of that. Our cup can overflow. Wow, maybe this is what God wanted us to see. It's just occurring to me in this very moment. Our cup can overflow because he's filled it. If you're like me and you're constantly looking for more minutes in the day, If you're constantly looking for words of affirmation to fill you up, to confirm that you're doing well at work or at home, whatever it is, you know what? Your cup already overflows with blessings because you are God's child. You are loved by him and you are precious to him. All right. Wow. I want to read the King James Version of Psalm 23 now. We just read the New Living Translation. That's what we typically read together on the Bible for Busy People. But I thought it would be lovely to read these words today. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And you know, you and I can dwell with him now as he leadeth us, 
as he restoreth our souls, as he walks with us daily and makes our cups runneth over. Isn't that so fulfilling to just sit here and think about right now? As we read the psalm in the King James Version, I thought about that old hymn. I want to leave you with these beautiful old words. He leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth so we can followeth him, knowing that he's going to take us to peaceful streams, that he's going to take care of us and restore us. Oh, I don't know about you. I really needed this joy bomb in the Psalms. Hey, until next time, you are precious to God. He wants to fill your cup to overflowing. You are enough and you are loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.